We're going to go through an example problem on how to solve a simulation problem. In this case, it's the HIV virus uh, simulation, and it's just a three-state model. So come to um, apmonitor.com slash do, go to initialization, and this, we're going to be talking about initialization strategies, and this is the exercise uh, right here. So we want to simulate a highly nonlinear system using initialization strategies to find a suitable approximation for future parameter estimation. And we're going to create a MATLAB. In this case, we'll do a MATLAB and Python script to simulate and display the results. Um, give yourself about two hours total if you're not familiar with how to do this. Okay, and uh, we're just going to run through this um, exercise here is the data and the model files. I'll go ahead and save that. Um, and I'll go ahead and just save it to my desktop. Okay, so there's some data. We want to try to get a, a approximation that's fairly close to um, uh, to the data. Okay, so I'm going to go open this, and I'll extract it. And the first thing I'll do is just go ahead and look at this model file. Okay, so this is already provided for you. Um, here are actually there's there's four equations, three states, but then we just log scale. Uh, the virus as well so that we can compare it um, to uh, the data. Okay, and uh, there are the initial conditions. These are the number of healthy cells, uh, 1 times 10 to the 6, the virus cells, and then infected cells as well. And then we just gave an initial on the log virus of 2. Okay, so that equals 100 Lenon log scaled. And then um, another thing that I did, and, and you don't have to do this just for the simulation, but for future parameter estimation, we also log scaled uh, the parameters and then just brought them back out of log scaled space here. Okay, so what I want to do is um, go ahead and open up this HIV uh, data. Okay, so there's my data. Um, and I just want to save uh, two things here. Um, you know, this is, the, uh, this is a data file. And uh, I'll go ahead and just save this as a CSV file, first of all. Okay, so. I'm going to go out to 15 years worth of data, and uh, we're measuring this patient's uh, we're measuring this patient's virus count every uh, 0.25 years, um, and then I'm going to save this as a comma-separated value file. Okay, so I'm going to go browse, and I don't want to save it to OneDrive sometimes that locks up my Excel. Okay, I'm just going to save it to my desktop. To this data. Uh, and then what I want to do is save it as a comma delimiter. So if you miss that, it's just right. Um, let me go up. Okay, so there's comma delimited. Don't do tab delimited, for example. Okay, and then I'm going to save this as um, HIV. Okay, I'll say yes for keeping it in that format, and then I'll go ahead and close it. Okay, with um, don't save there. Okay, what if I open this up with a text editor? Notepad, I'll just see that I have my time and my log of my virus. Okay, so now um, the other thing I want, um, I, sometimes it's harder to import things without uh, or with that, that heading. So I'm just going to save another one that's called HIV data and uh, I'll go ahead and just edit that with a text editor. And what I want to do is just take off the uh, heading. Okay, so I'll just have the raw data there as well. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is go ahead and just create a new MATLAB script. Um, and I'll just call this main.m. Okay, this is going to be my MATLAB script that I'll use to uh, simulate this system. Okay, so um, while this is loading as well, one of the other things we need, we'll need to grab is just come back to um, apmonitor.com and then go and grab the MATLAB. Uh, libraries for this, okay, from the MATLAB interface. Okay, I'm just going to grab those um, here and I'll go ahead and open it. I only need to get the APM folder. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy, uh, go ahead and copy this and then put that into my folder that is here on my desktop. Okay, so that is just a collection of libraries that are going to help me simulate this. Okay, now uh, let's see, I have everything I need. Um, let me go ahead and go back to my MATLAB editor and uh, go ahead and just um, uh, clear. So if I run this multiple times, I want to clear 
all the variables, close all the plots, and clear the screen. I'll add path to that APM folder that I just um, retrieved. And then I'll issue the APM solve command. Um, I want to solve this HIV model and do it in dynamic uh, simulation mode. Okay, so that's all I need to do uh, to solve this. If I click run, I'm going to go back to my MATLAB prompt. I'll see that I have y.x. There's y.x.time. Okay, there are all my times. Y.x. Uh, let's look at virus and then y x dot log virus. Okay, so there are all of my uh, results. Um, y dot names, for example, it'll show you the, the different names. Okay, but now I want to plot these as well. Um, let me just create a new variable z, which is y dot x, because I'm going to be using that a lot. And then the other thing I want to do is load that um, HIV data. Okay, so just load that into MATLAB. And now I want to plot all of these results. So I'll create a new figure with a semi log y plot, okay, with z dot time. That's going to be my uh, time, uh, my healthy cells, and let me just create a blue line for the healthy cells, and uh, then I'll hold on to that plot while I plot some more. Okay, so I'm going to create a couple other ones. Let's plot the infected as well, and we'll make that a green dashed line, and then let's do a red. Uh, uh, a dot dash line as well for the, my virus. Okay, um, and then let's do for the data. Um, let's do some circles instead. Okay, and that's going to be instead of uh, I'll do HIV data. I'll just take the first column of that data, and then HI. Let's see. I, I think I'm going to need to do 10 to the. I'll put the dot there to operate on element wise. HIV data, take the second column. So that was in log scaled, but because I'm doing a semi log plot, I need that in non log scaled. So I got to convert it back, and then the semi log Y is going to convert it back to log scaled for me. Okay, and then I'll um, put these are my states. Um, these are going to be log scaled. Okay, and then Y label, I'll go ahead and do H so for healthy cells, I for uh, infected cells, and then V for virus cells, and then uh, virus data as well. Okay, so now I have my, let's see if this works. Um, when I plot it, um, okay, and I'll see, I wanted to get um, dots, or uh, let's see, I'll do, go ahead and do circles uh, for those instead uh, for the data. So let me just go ahead and rerun it just with the uh, circles. Okay, so there's my uh, virus data and also my uh, predictions that I had. Okay, and now I can adjust the parameters if I want to uh, to try to get it to be closer to that data. Okay, let's do this same, um, this same exercise but in Python. Okay, so um, let's see, I had a problem with the a Y label there. Let me go back and correct that while it's still up. Okay, um, let's see, what did I do wrong? Oh, Y label, that should have been legend. Okay, and this should have been Y label, and X label should have been time. Okay, and that was in years. Okay, so let me run it one more time, and we'll see the results pop up. Okay, so there are my results with the correct uh, labels and legends. Okay, so now let's do this in Python as well. I'm going to come in to uh, here and create a new uh, text document, and I'll just name this main.py. Go ahead and get rid of the extension. Uh, that makes it a Python file. I'll edit it with IDLE editor. Okay, now what I want to do is um, from APM import everything. Now I don't have the Python libraries yet, so let me go grab those. Um, okay, so let's go get the Python interface. Uh, here is the Python interface from apmonitor.com and uh, just grab from this zip folder, open it. You only need to get um, this apm.py. Okay, and then you paste it in here. Okay, so I think we have, uh, we're going to import that APM library uh, so we can do our simulation. 
And then we're going to go ahead and solve this just like we did with the uh, MATLAB. Let me just go ahead and keep the MATLAB up here off to the side so we can kind of compare those two. Uh, they're going to be very similar. Okay, so we're going to use uh, APM solve command and we'll do HIV. Uh, I mode is going to be 7, that's the simulation mode. And then we're going to import um, NumPy just to uh, be able to import that data file that we wanted. I'm going to uh, do NumPy gen from txt. That's going to generate a, uh, a, a NumPy array from a txt file. Okay, this is going to be HIV data dot CSV, and my delimiter is going to be a comma. Okay, so that tells how to split it up. And then I'm going to get my log virus data. I'm just going to grab just the first um, the first column or the second column of that, I guess. Okay, so all of my rows, and then um, let's get my second column. It starts with a zero index in Python. Okay, so v equals numpy uh, dot power, and then that's going to be 10 uh, log v. Okay, so there's my virus in non-log scaled form, and then I'm going to import matplotlib. Okay, and I'll do pi uh, plot as PLT. So I'm just going to shorten that name, just importing it. And then let's go ahead and plot this uh, just like we did with this other one. I'm going to just copy this from uh, MATLAB side because it's going to be so similar here. Okay. And let me go ahead and just do PLT for most of this. So I'll just do PLT dot figure one and then I'll do PLT dot semi log y and get rid of the hold on and okay so just a couple others here and then the legend I'll just need to put some brackets around that okay and then I need to change this I have um, just change this one I imported my data a little bit differently um, and so this is going to be uh, data uh, just grabbing the uh, first column, okay, and then that's going to be v for my y values, and um, let's see, this is going to be y uh, time, okay, so just reference just a little bit differently, um, instead of z dot time, I just have y bracket time. Okay, and then this is going to be uh, H. Uh, this will be I. And V. Okay, so I think I have everything now. And this is in Python. Um, let me go ahead and just try to run it and see if there are any errors. Oh, you know what I needed to do? I always forget to do this in Python, but I need to have a show command as well at the end. Okay, so let me go ahead and try to run it again and see if it pops up with a plot there at the end. Okay, so there is there are the similar results also in Python. So we did this in MATLAB and in Python. Okay, so um, if you'd like to just go and download uh, these results, you can. Uh, they're going to be right here on, and also the video that I'll post, the HIV simulation in MATLAB and Python.